For the first couple of weeks, I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. I, um, it, it's, it was tough, you know, being on your feet all day. You don't know what to expect. You see it, how people carry mail, but you don't know what it takes. Uh, just the physical demands, the time frame in which you had to do things. When you're first hired, it seems almost overwhelming. And it looks like the odds are stacked against you. I think at first you don't really realize how much you're going to need the union. They know that we're a presence coming in, but they don't realize how much they're going to need us until a little while down the road. They're very supportive and they were willing to do whatever they could to help you succeed. We'll advocate for you, do whatever we can to make sure that your job is going smooth. We care about you, we care about your concerns. We look out for each other, we look out for our own. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Great, thank you. We got your outgoing mail here. Good to see you again. Kathy Burton had a career in retail. She enjoyed working in customer service, but she wanted a job with more financial security. Hey, well, I've got a nice... Jeremy Rothstein has a degree in elementary education, but teaching jobs were scarce, and he liked the idea of a job where he could work outdoors. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Joe. How are you? Good. Joe Sadowski is a freelance actor, but he needed a job with more stability and benefits for himself and his family. People become letter carriers for many different reasons. But one thing that all letter carriers have in common is a dedication to serving the American people. Hello, I'm Fred Rolando, a letter carrier from Sarasota, Florida. And I'm proud to serve as president of the National Association of Letter Carriers. I'd like to welcome you as you begin your career as a letter carrier. For the next few minutes, we'll shadow the letter carriers of NALC Branch 9 in Minneapolis and Branch 1071 in Miami while they perform their duties as city delivery letter carriers. You'll get a look at their workday as well as the activities that they and their colleagues are involved in on behalf of the NALC and their communities. This program will introduce you to the NALC its history, and its activities on behalf of letter carriers across the country. And it will show you how you too can become an active member of your union as together we work to secure our future and protect our rights in the workplace. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Gill. I'm the president of Branch 1071 of the National Association of Letter Carriers. I want to talk to you this morning about the NALC what we have done even before you were employees, and what we will do for you in the future. You are watching an orientation session that is being conducted for newly hired letter carriers. Like you, these men and women are about to begin their jobs with the United States Postal Service as city carrier assistants. And like you, they want to become career city letter carriers. What was a benefit that we achieved as a union? One, collective bargaining. For us to be able to sit down with your employer, the United States Postal Service, and negotiate for your wages, hours, and working conditions. And over the years, from 1970 forward, we have done that. The NALC has a rich history in the American labor movement. Our union was founded in 1889 by some 60 city delivery letter carriers who recognized the need for a union to represent them in their struggle for decent wages and justice on the job a need that continues to the present day. The NALC is the union that represents city letter carriers in the United States. We negotiate your salary, benefits, and working conditions with the United States Postal Service. We represent you in the workplace to make sure that the provisions of your contract are fairly upheld. We monitor legislative activities in the U.S. Congress as it makes decisions about your health insurance, your pension, and your employer. We fight in Washington to influence those decisions and to protect your interests as letter carriers. And we help NELC members serve the public off the clock as well. 
actively fostering many civic and charitable causes that help our customers and our communities. It's a very different job from what most people have. As a letter carrier, the mail you go out with, you have to deliver and get it delivered, and, and management expects them to uh, do it in the time assigned. Everybody wants to be a good employee and do a good job, but I see coworkers um, sometimes feeling stressed because management is pushing them too hard. Protecting your rights in the workplace and at the bargaining table is critical, and key to that protection are the terms of our contract. One of NALC's most important responsibilities is to negotiate a collective bargaining agreement that establishes your wages and working conditions with the Postal Service. And every few years, NALC's national officers, who are all career letter carriers, return to the bargaining table to make sure that the interests of all letter carriers are fairly represented. This agreement establishes the terms of your employment and provides for a schedule of pay increases for both CCAs and career letter carriers. We need that. We need that contract. We need that accountability. It is a bond between labor and management. And just as we're held accountable to it on a daily basis by management, they are held accountable to it by the union. I feel protected by it every day. At times of contract negotiations, just making the case of validating the wages I earn, validating why I should get health benefits, why I should get this or that. They're there providing and making that case for me. As a city carrier assistant, you now have a career path to become a career employee, gain retirement benefits, gain benefits for health insurance that are much more affordable than you can get privately or on your own, and ultimately become a career employee with a regular schedule and work and then retire. You have been hired as a non-career city carrier assistant, or CCA. The CCA classification was created as part of our most recent contract negotiations with the Postal Service. Unlike non-career employees in previous contracts, called transitional and casual employees, CCAs have more rights, more security, and a formal path to becoming a career city letter carrier, thanks to the new contract. Career city carrier jobs offer an excellent salary and benefits package, including paid annual leave and health and retirement benefits. And, according to the terms of the contract, those jobs must be filled by CCAs. But that path to a career job and that benefits package did not just fall from the sky. Your union, the NALC, achieved those gains on behalf of letter carriers over many years through the struggles and sacrifices of those who have come before you. Today, the NALC has some 265,000 active and retired members in 15 geographic regions throughout the country. These carriers belong to more than 2,100 local unions, known as branches, each with its own officers, all of whom are letter carriers themselves. The pulse of the union is at this branch level. It is here that you will receive your day-to-day -day representation as well as where you will have the greatest opportunity to participate in NALC activities. You'll see us, either myself, Mark, or one of the other full-time officers in and out of the station on different time periods. We have shop stewards in each office. They wear a red shop steward badge and they will approach you, introduce themselves, and they are your liaison on the workroom floor to, to help you with uh, issues that may come up. Your NALC steward is your direct link with management should you ever need representation on a work-related issue. Whether it concerns a discipline or performance issue, a leave or work assignment problem, or a health and safety matter, your steward is your first line of representation on the workroom floor. Hey, Robbie. How you doing? How's it going today? Good. Listen, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the OTDL list. As a steward, Kathy Burton stays on top of issues affecting okay, the carriers at her station. Are going to be on vacation, and 
Here she works with her supervisor to make sure that overtime work is fairly distributed to carriers who request it. Okay. And then we'll, uh, but we'll start freezing people at the bottom. All right, right great. The top. Okay, thanks a lot, Robbie. Yeah. Appreciate it. Co-workers come to you and they have a problem and then we, have, we need to go in and uh, advocate for them with management and try to come to a resolution for their situation. As the steward, it is my main job to protect the contract, um, to keep peace on the workroom floor. Hey, Joe. Hey, Sam, come on in. Hey, I got a problem. Is it okay if I come in and talk to you for a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely, come on in. Mike okay. told me we we're gonna see each other oh. today. What's going on? Thanks, I've got a problem with my supervisor, George. And Shop stewards keep an eye on potential issues. They represent coworkers who may run into difficulty. Joe Sadowski works with a carrier who has been forced to work overtime against her wishes. Hi, may I speak to George, please? Hey, George, uh, this is Joe Sadowski from the NALC. I'm sitting here with Samantha Hartwig. I'm solving problems for not only myself, but for 28 other carriers in my office. You can save people's jobs. We've saved people's jobs. As letter carriers, we want the Postal Service to be a strong, healthy, vibrant company that will be here to serve the American people for decades to come. So we work in partnership with the Postal Service to help ensure its future. NALC's Customer Connect program leverages the good relationships that letter carriers have with their customers to attract new business. Since the program's start, letter carriers have generated more than $1.6 billion dollars of new revenue by watching for opportunities with businesses and individuals on their routes. Continue to do the great job you do every day serving your customers. Continue to look, to look for those leads for Customer Connect because we need to find alternate sources of revenue to make the Postal Service as strong and as vibrant as they can because it is our employer. Good evening. I have 62 new applicants. Each local branch holds regular membership meetings, such as this one in Miami, where the business focuses on issues of concern on the workroom floor, as well as the many civic and charitable events that have made letter carriers ambassadors in their communities for decades. But in the last week, we've done over a hundred, or signed up a hundred new city carrier assistants um, that we'll, you'll be seeing in the stations and branches in the very near future. They're anticipating hiring over 600 city carrier assistants. There's going to be relief in the stations and branches, finally, for those that have been you know, working a lot of overtime, forced overtime. I challenge the new members. You're the future of the NALC. You're the future career letter carriers. You're coming in as a, a city carrier assistant, but you'll soon make career. If you will take a look at the NALC website, NALC.org, there are three pieces of legislation currently pending, two in the House, one in the Senate, that is legislation that will be favorable to us and to fix some of the financial problems of the Postal Service. They're out there struggling and working to make sure that the post office is a viable entity, uh, you know, by working with Congress to make sure that we pass the right reform and the right laws that allow the post office to succeed. Your wages, hours, and working conditions are negotiated through a process called collective bargaining. Congress gave collective bargaining rights to postal employees in 1970, and Congress sets the rules on our health insurance and pensions. But Congress can also take those rights away and change the rules, as well as take other steps to help or to harm the Postal Service and letter carrier jobs. Forcing the Postal Service to slash service, reduce quality, and degrade its unique last mile delivery network will simply drive more business away and tip us into a death spiral. We cannot destroy the village to save it. So if we could go forward and fix the pre-funding, address the pensions, give us some pricing freedom, allow us to do what we need to do with health care, maybe open up some products and services, 
I think that we have a vision for the future that will make the Postal Service flourish for years to come, and I don't see where it's a partisan issue. This is America's Postal Service. We testify before Congress when political or legislative action threatens our jobs or the members' interests. Our strong and active legislative and political program gives the union a powerful voice in Washington. The success of that program lies with its bipartisan approach and the grassroots efforts of our members from all across the country, who play an active role engaging their members of Congress, Democrat and Republican alike. Our job is serving the community, delivering mail, uh, but we go beyond that because that's who we are. Serving your community as a letter carrier is an honor and a privilege. It's a job that transcends delivering the mail. Letter carriers are essential to the fiber of every community in America. Because you're there every day, and some of your elderly customers, you're the only contact they have with you know, the, the outside world every day. So letter carriers do this all the time. Uh, they, they just keep an eye on their customers. Through our Carrier Alert program, we keep a watchful eye on the sick, the elderly, and those who live alone. Through the City Readiness Program, we are experimenting with delivering drugs in emergency situations. And incidents of letter carriers saving customers from life-threatening situations happen literally every day. Miami carrier Michelle McLeod assisted two elderly customers by alerting authorities when mail began to pile up in their mailbox. Carriers are like a second family. We get to know the people on the block and they get to know us. And again, when things doesn't seem right, we know that. Letter carrier Willie Hayward rescued two customers from a burning apartment and then went on to deliver the rest of his route. I just thank God I was able to be there to, uh, to rescue them because I didn't I want to go home that night not knowing that I didn't do everything I could have done. As a national union, the NALC champions many charitable causes. Our involvement with the Muscular Dystrophy Association, also known as Jerry's Kids, goes back more than 50 years. And our largest nationwide event of the year is the annual Letter Carriers Food Drive, the largest single day food collection event in the nation which provides more than 75 million pounds of food for needy families each year. I have interests in economics. I have interests in politics. I, I have interest in how the union plays a role in society. But the NALC has given me the opportunity to learn more about those things. You can go into grievance advocacy, uh, you can uh, run for an office, you can uh, become an arbitration advocate, um, there's the Leadership Academy, there's so many different opportunities to contribute. As a member of the NELC, you can get as involved as you want, from representing your fellow carriers on the workroom floor, to civic and political involvement, to positions of leadership on both the local and national level, to serving as a delegate to our national convention held every two years, NALC welcomes your involvement. Within our branch, we've got about 99% of our letter carriers are members of the union. And I think when you get out into the station and branches, you'll find out why 99% belong to the union. And I'm going to ask you today to join the union, sign up, and I'll leave you with this. We're in this together. Would you be willing to sit down and try and negotiate with the Postal Service for your wages, hours, and working conditions? How far do you think you'd get? You belong to, by signing that form, if not the, one of the strongest unions in this country. Join the union, if nothing else, for support. You will receive so much support from other letter carriers. The union is strong. We are one of the strongest unions in the country. Um, we do have your back. That's what I would say. We have your back. And who's there more for you than, than the union? Who's going who's gonna to look out for you more, your employer or, or your union? And 
You can say 10 out of 10 times your union is there looking out for you and your rights. After hearing what the union had to offer, um, it seemed to me a, a, a no-brainer. They would help me be a good letter carrier. They would help me in issues if they arose on the workroom floor in the workplace. And that's why it's important that we have a strong union and representatives that, that go that extra mile. We hope that your years as a letter carrier will be enjoyable and trouble free. But remember that should you encounter difficulty on the job, the NALC will be there to protect your rights. At a time when working men and women, especially public employees, are increasingly under attack, joining the NALC is more important than ever. Thank you for watching. We look forward to having you join us.